Hi everyone, this is a short video about small volume correction, which I wanted to share with you um, why and how I did it uh, using the SPM 12. I'm sure it's available in other versions as well. So first of all, when using um, small volume correction, it's when you have a strong uh, upper hypothesis about specific regions in your study. So let's say you have an hypothesis about the amygdala, and how it is activated during specific tasks. So what you do is you restrict the analysis to these regions. And instead of doing multiple comparisons, correction for all the voxels in the brain, you're only correcting for the voxels within your VOI. It is different than our analysis because in our, our analysis, what you do is summarizing. Um, usually you, we are averaging the results or the data within a region of interest and we perform some statistical test and we end up with a single value for an RI, this RI. But in small volume correction, we are not averaging. What we do is just using a more liberal threshold due to the fact that we restrict the analysis to a smaller volume, not to all the brain, but a smaller volume. And we are correcting our results only for this volume. So it means that the threshold we are using is more liberal. And we are looking only at the voxels within this vo volume of interest that pass this threshold. How are you doing this? I didn't find um, very clear documentation in papers and studies, um, unfortunately, but I did find a lot of QAs in the SPM list archive. And um, those responses of Helmut were really useful. And these are the ones that I used in the current study. I also add a link to um, these responses in, in this video. So let's go quickly over this um, Okay. So if you wondering how to look for responses in the SPM archive, you're going to Google, just click SPM list, and then you can get into the archive. And here you have a search archives, you, you can click small volume correction, and then search, and you can sort the results by day, time, etc. So as you can see, I've got many, many, many results um, that uh, includes the small volume correction string. And I looked at the responses of Elmont and there I found the exact uh, way for out doing this in the um, SPM. So let's go to the SPM and show this. I load my um, SPM.mat file and the specific contrast I'm interested in. Um, at this stage, I'm not applying any masking. It's not an hour analysis, as we said before. At this stage, for our uh, purpose, it doesn't really matter if we use family-wise or uncorrected P. I'll go with the uncorrected just so we could see the differences when I later correct for multiple comparisons only for the VOI, so actually the small volume correction. So I'll go with 0 0.001 and use an extent threshold of 10 voxels. So let's look at the uh, results. We have the glass brain with all the voxels so that pass this threshold of um, uncorrected P 0.001, and it equals to a high threshold T equals 3.09. This is a T um, that uh, if we look at the peak level T values here, we can see that there is no T smaller than 3.09, okay? Um, which correspond to an uncorrected P of 0 0.001 again. Now, if you look at the bottom of the table, you can see the values of family wise error and FDR at the peak level, as well as the cluster level, C and P. And the family wise error P, um, and the family wise error T, the I threshold of 5.05 .05 is the threshold that if we will use it, we will get multiple comparison correction of P value equals 0 0.05, okay? So it's just for an idea, this is the T or the I threshold you would use um, if you will um, choose the family-wise error correction at the beginning. 
Now we are looking for the family wise error, the I threshold T that corresponds to correct, correcting only for the voxel within our VOI. This is what we want to search for. So what we are doing is clicking on a small volume correction. We are choosing our VOI. And as you can see, the glass brain haven't changed, but now, and yet also the, the eye threshold um, didn't change. But now what I get here at the bottom of the table, family-wise error P, for our volume of interest, the family-wise error corrected p-value of 0 0.05, which is the default, corresponds to a height threshold of t equals 4.66. This is what it means. Now I'm going to use this height threshold to correct my results for the VOI. Okay, so up to now, I didn't do anything. I just received information from the SPM. So I'm going to load my contrast again. And at this point, I'm not correcting for anything, no p-value adjustment, but here I choose a t-value that I found before. So my t will be 4.66. This is the uh, t high threshold that corresponds to uh, multiple comparison corrections according family-wise error p equals 0.05 only within my VOI. So I'll go again with a with extend threshold of 10 voxels. And now you can see there are much, much less, less results because um, I applied correction, which I did not before. But we are done, not done yet because here what I see is all the voxels in all the brain that passed this threshold of T, um, um, high threshold T equals 4.66. But in all the brain, I didn't correct for anything. I just chose an arbitrary um, threshold. All right. So yes, you can see this is my threshold. And again, this is the threshold if I would want to correct for all the voxels within the brain. Now I'm telling the SPM, please apply the correction um, at this I threshold only for my VOI. So again, I'm going to small volume correction and choose my VOI, choose my mask. And there you go. So now if I would show you the table and compare one to one, I can see that there are no um, T values that pass this threshold, of course, 4.66. And also the P's are smaller because before, I just applied the thresh, the high threshold 4.66, but it was for all the voxels in the brain. And now I corrected only for the voxels within my VOI, which makes it more liberal. Therefore, my P values under the peak level family-wise error P are smaller than before. Now, there is another small thing. Um, I can see the results across in the, in the entire brain but it doesn't make sense because I corrected the results only for specific regions, right, within my VOI. So I want to look at these specific regions and not on all the brain. So in this case, I, I, what I'll do, I'll just add an explicit mask during uh, um, loading the results. I'll add an explicit mask and I'll receive only the voxels that pass this threshold, um, corrected threshold um, that I'm interested in. So. I will again uh, load my contrast and I'll choose an, implicit, an explicit mask um, of my our eyes. So explicit mask means it doesn't do anything. It just, you know, mask out the voxel that I'm not interested looking at. And after I applied small volume correction, it also doesn't make sense to look at this voxel, right? Um, and I'll choose, now I know the eye threshold T equals per frequency. 4.66 and 10 voxels. And now um, I apply the small volume correction as did, we did before. So I'm correcting only for the voxels within our VOI. And now we are done. So we can see this is our eye threshold. This is also 
the correction we applied only for the view, our VOI, and we can see the results are um, very restricted to specific regions that were within my VOI. Um, this is it. <laughs> I, I hope it um, will help you. And I'm available for um, questions and discussions and any comments you have, I would love to hear. Um, and good luck with your study. Um, see you next time. Bye.